XY scatter graph for data which includes a labels column as you see here in column A. Do not select the labels column. The correct scatter graph comes from selecting the data in B and C only and then insert chart. In this case uh, Google Sheets has directly given me a scatter graph with the correctly labeled axes. This is a co this is what you want to generate in one such as 4.1. Uh, if you don't get a scatter graph, you may have to go down and manually select the scatter graph from the setup under the chart editor. You can, as you'll learn in uh, the other sections. Uh, go to customize series and display the trend line. You can also show the equation of the trend line and the coefficient of determination R squared is also available. These are covered in other sections after section 4.1. Note that this chart editor is, with the customize options is only available on the desktop or laptop. If you're working from a smartphone, you'll have to use functions in the spreadsheet to get the slope, which is 11.4, and the intercept, which is at 0 0.268. The thing to not do when working with this sort of data is do not select all of the data. Uh, that, won't, that won't yield the correct chart. If you select all of the data, and then uh, under setup, switch to a XY scatter graph. You'll get this two, uh, these two data sets, the distance in miles and the time in minutes, graphed against the locations. That's not what you want. That's not an XY scatter graph of time versus of uh, time versus distance or distance versus time in this case. This is a pace chart. So it's got uh, distance on the x-axis. Uh, it's also going to be the case that if you try to do a graph from here, you, you, in my computer, I do get the correct answer. But um, uh, yours may not, depending on uh, how what happens on your system. Notice in that case, I was in A1, and I simply clicked on Make a Chart, and it happened to come out correctly. This, however, was is not correct. And that happens when you intentionally select column A along with B and C. Do not select column A. Uh, these are just labels. They're meaningful. You'll often see them in tables. They tell you where a particular distance marker occurred at and what the time was at that marker. These are locations. But they are not part of the actual statistics problem. And you often see that when you're working with XY scatter graph data that there may be a label column that tells you the meaning of the each pair. Note there are only 11 uh, pairs on this graph. There's 11 dots, so the sample size is 11, not 22.